okay uh, this problem is slight tricky when while using shortcuts so we'll go ahead with this problem first first step is that you solve it and get the z value on the solution so on solving it i have uh, first is minus 4x plus 3y less than i mean equal to 6 so I, if i take this sign i'll get y is equal to 6 minus 4 i mean plus 4x by 3 applying it over here i'll get 3x plus 2 times 6 plus 4x by 3 is equal to 18 multiplying it throughout uh, by 3 I'll be getting uh, 3x I mean sorry 9x plus 2 times 6 plus 4x equal to 18 cross 3 is 54 so um, expanding it again 9x plus 12 plus what 8x is equal to 54 solving this I would get x is equal to 42 by 17 applying this in the first uh, I mean the second equation over here that is 3x x is 42 by 17 plus 2y equal to 18 I would get y is equal to 90 90 by 17 now um, I can apply this and find the z value over here z value is going to be 492 by 17 which is fairly now we'll go ahead with the table the table will contain z which is the profit or the maximizing value x first variable y second variable 1 which denotes the first equation 2 which denotes the second equation crossing it off so z over here is 492 by 17 I have to write the decimal value hence because I will be using rounding off so I am going to be using 29.8 uh, again this is the maximum value above which my solution can never go and on a, I can only uh, by rounding off or by changing it into an integer I can only bring my maximum value below 28.9 20, I can't increment it above it so my x I what x I got is 42 by 17 which in decimal is 2.47 and my y value is 90 by 17 which in decimal is 5.29 now if you observe both the decimals are uh, below 0.5 and if I add them I'm not getting one so I'm I can't uh, uh, what is that increase any value and one more thing is that uh, both uh, values I got was uh, by solving one and two so they will uh, find that uh, solve I mean solve uh, in both 1 and 2 so uh, this is my original solution I am marking it off and I am going for the next one so since these are both are fractions I am going to go with rounding off and I can't uh, as I said earlier I can't increase them so I am going to go for both decreases both decreases are going to be 2 and 5 which in a decimal I will get uh, 27 which is 25 plus uh, 2 and over here I have to see if they solve the first equation and the second equation so 2 in order of that uh, minus 4 into 2 plus 3 into 5 if it's less than 6 over here I'll get minus 8 and over here I'll get 15 which is 7 which is not less than 6 so it doesn't satisfy the first one and uh, the second one I'm going to get it as 6 plus 10 is 16 is less than thing since it doesn't satisfy the first one this is not my ideal solution I will be moving on to the next one okay I'm gonna uh, now I can do one thing I know one of it is right either this or this value is correct since because it satisfied one so I'm next step I'm gonna either do this and this that is I'm going to remain this value is same and decrease only the x value over here I'm going to remain x value is the same and decrease the y value so if I do that I'll get uh, 1 over here and 5 over here and over here it will be 2 the same and 4 so now try we will try the same thing over here we'll substitute over there I'll get 26 over here and over for this one I'll get 20 plus 2 is 22 now if, uh, back to so solving in the first one first one will be minus 4 plus uh, 15 minus 4 uh, minus 4 plus 15 is 11 which doesn't solve the first one and uh, 4 or I mean 1 3s are 3 and this is 10 so th uh, 13 13 is less so but uh, still I get one wrong so I can't use that either 
for going for the next one I am going to get 2 over here and 4 over there so minus 8 plus uh, 4 times this is 12 minus 8 plus 12 I get 4 4 is less than 6 so first condition is satisfied second one is uh, 2 times of 3x is 6 plus 8 uh, which is 6 plus 8 is uh, I guess is 14 so that is also satisfied so this is my integer result and this is what I get as a solution for this sum. Thank you.